When you're changing from one market to another, let's say you keep your time frame the same, but you're changing markets, you're going from stocks to futures. It's a significant difference. In futures, you have leveraged accounts. So if you have cash in there, let's say 10,000 for an example, you can do many multiples of that with the leverage that they give you at the exchanges or at the brokerage that you're with. So each move is going to create a lot more emotion. So you're going to get a lot more stop running and exaggeration, blow-offs. I think you get that a lot more in futures than you do in stocks. And within futures, it's very different as well. So fixed income, equities, oil, currencies, gold, they're all very different in their own ways for different reasons. Fixed. I'll briefly just get into that. Fixed income, you have yield curves and cash basis trades and all these different reasons to be hedging and doing things. And they get really wild when there's a Fed meeting or there's an inflation report. Otherwise, they're more tame. Equities can jiggle around from day to day more so. And that's mostly what I day traded was equities. And I would stick to the fixed income and the currency stuff on events because I found it was better to use those on special events and not during the day. But back to the original thought here today was to speak on moving from stocks to futures and what's what's the difference with that besides the leverage which is the primary difference i think it's an awareness of what moves them and when you're looking at indexes it's it's uh gaps earnings reports um of really big companies maybe but not not so much unless it's very really sensitive to something like bank stocks in 2008 or certain tech stocks at a key earnings period, I'll, I'll watch like the reaction those stocks have to earnings. But it's looking at the reports. We had a big employment report a while ago. We rallied huge and then we didn't hold it. So that was notable to me and I kind of keep track of that. And you can trade off of those kind of reactions and those levels. So I think having that bigger picture awareness really matters. Also, they're spreading a little bit between NASDAQ and S&P going on. Um, Maybe that's getting a little out of whack right now because tech is leading this rally so much, but just having a general awareness of what's driving the index, like oil stocks have been really lagging behind. So, you know, if we're having a day where oil stocks are going down and the stock market just wants no part of going down, it's kind of flat and then oil stocks start getting strong, well, that might be enough to make the index strong. So thinking in those terms, you know, I don't, I'm not sure in stocks if you would do that as much. You're looking more at the individual stock. You're also concerned with the index, but not, not as much. Um, those are the main things I would think if you're transitioning from stocks to futures, you'd be looking into. But again, I'd put my, I would really emphasize that look at it as if it's an alien planet and you're coming in for the first time and making your own observations as to how it's different and writing those down. And that can be some of the best work you do and not get other people's stuff polluting your mind as to how it should be, because it, it is how you perceive it to be, and you build a system around that. But the, just the acknowledgement of the leverage and different factors, I think, is a good thing to have in mind.